This Thursday, many of us will gather with family and friends to express our gratitude, but the act of giving thanks shouldn't only fall on a special holiday. Psychiatrist Dr. Anthony Ferrioli joined us now. How are you? I'm well, thank you. You're grateful. You. I'm pretty grateful. So this is an interesting take on gratitude. Yeah. It's kind of being thankful for the difficult things and the challenges yeah. we face. Yes. I mean, we're all grateful for those things like, you know, family or health or food on the table or job and, you know, but uh, b b beyond that, there's also gratitude for, you know, having been uh, emotionally handling things well that day with whoever or whatever circumstance. You know, I didn't lose it or I didn't totally break down and get paralyzed or stuck by it. I was able to somehow negotiate that moment with somebody. And being grateful for that moment that we did the right thing instead of the easier thing. Mm -hmm. And even being grateful for the situation or the person that brought that t challenge to us. That's the kind of gratitude that I wanted to bring. And today. a lot of times it's not initially that you feel that gratitude. It's only when you look back on it and say, you know what? Totally. It was really a challenge. It was yes. really difficult at the yes. time, but I'm in such a better place now because exactly. of it. And, and that's exactly right. You don't necessarily feel it at the moment. At the moment, you're in usually sort of some kind of fight or flight moment. And, and that's the thing when you can get yourself out of that red zone with skills such as restraint, holding the tongue for the moment, or listening before right away wanting to jump in, or modulating the anger a little bit better than it would have come out, or the anxiety for that matter, mm -hmm. you know, things like that, or even things like uh, engagement in, in life rather than living reactively and just going by whatever impulse we have. You know, that's a job well done when we can do those things, you know? And like you said, you don't feel it right away necessarily, but later you will. It's also a challenge to forgive difficult people for things that have happened, but you know, it's important to be grateful for those people and those experiences too. That's right, because they, as one man once said to me, they bring the game up, right? Because mm -hmm. forgiveness is a major part of it. I'm glad you mentioned it. When you have an opportunity to forgive and you actually forgive, um, you know, that, that's a challenge that you overcame and you, were, and you can be grateful for that. A lot of people have difficulty accepting an apology. Someone yes. may mean it absolutely 100%, but the person doesn't want to accept it, doesn't want to hear it. That's right. And, and that's another skill, being able to accept an apology. A lot of people, when they're apologized to, the first thing they do is they go in for the kill. Somebody says, I owe you an apology, and you say, darn right, and you start going at them. Uh, learning how to gratefully and, or graciously, perhaps, uh, accept an apology. Um, you know, I don't know about, about you, but when I do something right like that, later on I'll say, hey, I don't know how I managed to do that, but I'm grateful I did. I'm glad I did because it went a better way than it could have gone. And it's important <laughs> to actually give them a wholehearted apology, not, I'm sorry that offended you, or yes. I'm sorry you were offended by that. Like, I'm sorry you made me do that to you. Right. That's like not an apology. That's really a comment, and it's a further attack. Rather than, apology is a pretty simple thing. It's just saying, I'm sorry. Another thing that you mentioned I think is really important is to give someone the benefit of the doubt. Yes, that's huge. There's this thing, benefit of the doubt, or you might call it unconditional positive regard, which means, you know, uh, innocent before guilty. So if my wife says something to me and uh, I think I'm hearing one thing, I I'm going to hold off my judgment or my comment right away and maybe kind of ask a question or two and get a real sense of what she's talking about, which is an investment of time and energy, sometimes, frankly, that we don't have. Mm -hmm. So if you're able to pull that off and do it, you got something to be thankful for. So you're thankful for all of those things. You're thankful when you do the right thing. Yes. And everyone else is grateful when you do the right thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's very true. They are. <laughs> Dr. Anthony Ferrioli, thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving.